Well, spring is coming, March 19th, so it's right around the corner. So it's time to look through our makeup and see what kind of spring makeup we have so that we don't have to go out and buy any. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I plan to use. Okay, so let me tell you about what I plan to wear in the spring for my makeup. Of course, I'm going to use my sunscreen, and I use either the Elta MD Tinted Sunscreen or the Dermatology Tinted Sunscreen, which I showed in previous videos. I'm not going to demonstrate any of these products or anything like that. I'm just going to tell you what I think gives a nice, glowy, summery, spring look to makeup. So let's get started. All right, well, first, after, of course, sunscreen, then I would do a primer. Now, this um, Wet n' Wild Dewy Illum Luminex, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a wonderful primer. It is dewy and gives your face such a nice glow. And it, it is a, a little tinted, sort of a pinkish color. Again, I'm not going to demonstrate any of this, but... This is just something you may really enjoy because of the glow that it gives you. Another nice primer with that kind of summery, springy glow is this NYX Born to Glow. This is really nice also. It just puts that glow under whatever foundation you plan to wear. Or you could just wear this on top of your sunscreen and it would be just as nice. So these are the two that... I'm going to be using. And then after that, if you want like a sort of a bronzy, illuminating glow, there's a couple other products I have here. This is the number seven skin illuminator. And it's sort of a bronzy color. I guess this I should show you since it has a, a color to it. I'll put it on the end of my finger here. And it, it's got a illumination to it but it's sort of a bronzy bronzy color and that just kind of gives you that sun-kissed look and then I also have this I think it's no it's Milani Born to Glow and that's this and let me see if I can get a little bit of this out to show whoa to show you I think I got too much out <laughs> but anyhow it's a a darker it's not to me at least it's not real glowy it does give you that nice bronze uh, look but I just don't think it has the glow that the number seven does get a wipe and wipe this off my hands and continue on now as far as foundations I don't like them in the spring and summer, they're just not necessary, at least for me and, and my life, my lifestyle. Uh, if I was going somewhere, then yes, I would wear one of my dewy foundations like the, um, oh, what is it, the Maybelline Dream Satin or the Invisible Lift by L'Oreal, I believe is one of them, and uh, the Physician's Formula, things like that that they're, they're kind of light and they give you that dewy look. But otherwise, every day, because I'm outside so much, I just don't like to wear that stuff. And so I use more of the BB creams and the tinted moisturizers because you can put bronzer on top of anything, uh, even just your sunscreen, and just bronze up your skin and it gives you that beautiful glow. So, I'll just show you a few things that I like. I like this Neutrogena Protect and Tint. Now, this is a tinted moisturizer. It's very nice. It's creamy. And again, it's a moisturizer with a tint in it. So, nothing heavy. It doesn't give you that foundation feel. I like this BB Cream by Maybelline. That's also very light. Just gives you a little color. 
but you don't feel that heavy feel. I also have this L'Oreal BB Cream. I'll show you that right here. Same thing, like coverage. And I have this new one by CoverGirl. It's the Clean and Fresh Skin Milk uh, Makeup. Uh, I've only tried this once or twice, but it's, it's very light. It's not heavy coverage at all. Feels good on the skin. Just feels real good. And it feels like your, your natural skin just shines through. So this would be a good choice. And the last one I have is Neutrogena. What is this? Um, skin Clearing Light to Medium Salicylic Acid Sheer Coverage. Well, I'm not sure what this is, really. But I know that it has a tint to it. I'll put a little bit on my finger here. So it does have a, a color to it, if you can see that. And I guess it has some skincare in it with the salicylic acid. So that would be nice, too, if, if you need salicylic acid. So these are all just lightweight, just to put a little color on your face. And then after that, uh, oh, let me mention these two. For some reason... I don't hear a lot of people talk about the cushion foundations. I love them. They don't feel like anything on my skin. I don't know if they're supposed to be medium coverage, light coverage, or maybe buildable. I don't know because I don't practice it with them in that way. But I do wear them. And I just take a, a wet, or a not wet, but damp sponge and dab it into the cushion and just lightly dab it mainly around here. I, I don't wear makeup all back up in here and down under here and all that. And I just love them. I think they provide great uh, coverage blending, yet they're light, they're not heavy, they're never cakey looking, at least on me, and I have very dry skin. So I love this Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. Just love it, wear this all the time. And then also this Physician's Formula Cushion Foundation. And I think this is old. I mean, mine isn't old, but I mean, I think it's been out for a while. But I love this one too. And you can get all this stuff anywhere. So I will leave the names of it down below, but not links because you can find it on Amazon, um, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, wherever you like to shop, maybe even the dollar store. So I'll just give the names of it down below. And then as far as a bronzer. Now, I think this is it for the summer and for the spring. If you can wear a light coverage sheer foundation or BB cream or tinted moisturizer or just your sunscreen, if you can get away with that, all you really need is a nice bronzer, but not the kind that, you know, they put just in this one spot, like right here. The kind you can go all over your face with. And of course, you don't want that too dark or too orange or anything like that. I love this um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and it's in the shade Sunkiss Bronzer. And... It's just the perfect shade. Uh, well, for me, it's not orange, it's not brown, it's not reddish. It, I don't think it's cool and I don't think it's warm. I think it can be whatever you want it to be. And I can take this because of the texture and how light it is. I can take a brush, go in here, and then I swirl it all over my face, just everywhere. The sun hits, you know, all up in here, your nose, your chin. I just cover my face in it. And that with my sunscreen or one of these tinted moisturizers, you, I just think you get the prettiest look. And when you're outside during the day, in the spring, in the summer, either you're working in the yard or you're having activities, you're playing tennis, you're riding your bike, you're walking and everything. 
you don't want that heavy, heavy feeling on your face. It, it just, well, I don't. It's, it's not comfortable to me. But I still want to look nice. So this is the perfect solution for me. And as far as a blush, you probably really don't even need one. As long as you're bronzed up, you look good. But if you want a little bit of color, again, I love these physician, Physician's Formula blushes. And I have the coral color and the pink color. And I think they're called Dewy Blush Elixir. So they're very nice, very creamy, very lightweight. And you can do just the tiniest amount. This is the pinkish shade. And, you know, just uh, rub it in. Put it on the back of your hand. Rub it in like that. And then take your finger or your sponge or a stippling brush. And just dab a little if you want some kind of pinkness or blush to your cheeks. I really like the bronze look. And for setting sprays, again, for the spring, I want the dewy. Well, really, I want that all year round because my skin is so dry. You know, 60, almost 69-year-old skin gets pretty dry. I don't think there's much oil left. But anyhow, I really love this L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow. This is a, a fantastic uh, setting spray if, if you choose to wear one. The Milani Make It Dewy, and that's that one. And the last one is the Flower Beauty Seal the Day. And it has just such a beautiful, nice fineness spray. And it just kind of cools you off. Like if you've been out, you've taken a bike ride or, or done something out there, worked in the yard, and you just feel like you need to be freshened up. It just, all these just feel really good, these setting sprays, lightly. I don't put a lot on, I don't hold it close. It's, I just like that cooling mist and it just seems to calm everything back down. And then I love this, it's, it's really not powder. Again, you know, I don't like to wear a lot of powder, maybe a finishing powder if I was going out and then I would use this, uh, Prep, Set, and Glow by Milani. It's very light, very finely milled, and it just gives you a little bit of a glow. It's not a matte finish. So that's what I'd use if I put a powder on. But what I like even more, because, I mean, during my everyday life, I'm in and out all day long. I'm going to be out. I might be out working in the yard, and then I come in for a half hour. Then I go out and take a bike ride, and then I come back in. And I'm in and out. And so if I get shiny, sweaty, that kind of thing, I just absolutely love this Revlon Photo Ready Prime Anti-Shine. This stuff, I, I can't describe it. It says it's a balm. And it is. It's not a powder. Let's see if you can see that. And when I rub my finger over it, I'm sure you can't see that. It is nothing but a balm. You can feel the balm. There's no powder texture to it at all. And it just comes with this little square sponge. You can just dab that on there and dab that anywhere on your face. And it takes the shine down. It's small. It's compact. It's easy to carry in your purse. You don't get that, you know, that powder where it settles onto a sweaty face. That's not cute. <laughs> Where this is just wonderful. It's a balm. So I don't know if you've ever tried it or heard of it, but I love it. And the last thing is, of course, any kind of lip gloss or lip balm that, of your choice that you like to use. But as I mentioned in a previous video, oh, my Vanny Crane SPF 30 sunscreen. I love this. It looks perfect on the lips. It is pure white. Just a touch out. I've showed this before in a previous video. It's this white cream and it comes on your lips white. But you rub it in and it just 
makes the color of your lipstick underneath look so pretty. And it's protecting your lips. And it feels so good on your lips. So that's really it for me. That's what I'm looking forward to using. I don't, you know, any mascara will do. I don't really wear eyeliners or do a wing liner. And as far as eyeshadows, I can take it or leave it. If I wear any, it's going to be something light, light, light in color, nothing heavy. Uh, even this, uh, well, I don't have it here, but that, uh, oh, Milani Luminoso blush. You know, it's kind of a peachy, pinky shade. Just to take a brush and dust over your eyelids. This is kind of a big brush, but, you know, dust over the tops of your eyelids. That's fine. Or the bronzer. Just dust a little of that on your eyelids. That's all you need. If you're going to be out and you're going to be active, you're going to sweat whatever you have on off. So what's the point in going heavy and putting all that on and feeling uncomfortable when you don't have to and you can still go out and look really nice, really have a pretty glow and an even skin tone. So that's just the way I feel about it at my age. So now I'd like to leave you with a beauty tip, an inside beauty tip like I always do. And I think today, let's talk about an inner glow. You know, we were so concerned with our outer glow and having our skin glow and glisten in the sun and be bronzed up and everything. And that is a beautiful look and a good feeling. But you know, when you have, <coughs> excuse me, have that glow on the inside, wow, that's incredible. And the more goodness you put inside, you think about, you pray on, you practice, you do glow on the inside. I mean, I know we can't physically see it, but I can visualize it and I can feel it. I feel the interglow. The inner glow. I don't see it, but I feel it. And it just makes me happy. It makes me feel happy. And I feel like it then comes through my skin and shows on the outside. At least that's what it does for me. So do all and whatever you can to keep that glow on the inside as well as the outside. Think good thoughts. Do good deeds, serve your neighbors and your friends. Do things that give you that glow inside. And it'll surely show up on that beautiful face of yours. I want to thank you for spending time with me today. I really enjoyed this. And I hope you're all pumped up for spring like I am. Until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.